So, simple video today. Uh, one of the things I talked about previously is um, I think stable diffusion is best suited for people who have some kind of art knowledge. So, thinking about that, I want to help make as many people able to use stable diffusion as possible. So, we're going to go over some basic art knowledge today. So, one of the things that I try to simplify when I show people is how to draw a basic human figure. So that's what we're doing today. Human figure. Something like that. Okay. <laughs> so I like to start off with kind of a big downward pointing triangle. Doesn't have to be perfect. Uh, just just get it as close as you can. Then a circle, right there. Touch the, essentially touch the tip of the triangles. But you're going to make another triangle. This is going to be kind of a short, fat uh, triangle. This basic kind of hourglass shape is the core of all my figures. So I'm going to grab. Uh, a darker blue for this part and keep going. So I like to do, I, I like to roll a lot of my shapes off this ball right here. So doing that, if I roll off the top down to the edge of this triangle, I know that is where uh, my, my legs are going to connect. Also, I cut this triangle right about there. Again, rolling off that ball. Don't make the ball too small. It's got to be big enough to do that. But now I have the inside connector for the legs. So just let me. I can never remember how to merge things in this program. I have multiple drawing programs, and so I tried to use different ones since I paid for them. Uh, to actually get some use out of it. So let me just show you what this looks like uh, really, really quickly. So starting from scratch, big triangle, ball in the middle, make sure it's not too small, short fat triangle. Cut here, roll off the top here, and that is so that I can keep going around and then I add these and there's the connectors for my legs so going back to this figure over here I next add just some balls right here and those are going to be my shoulder joints then I try to measure a line down to about say down to about right here the top of the ball almost give or take and that's going to be the distance for my um, elbow then from here down to about right here and then I put the ball underneath that line there's roughly the distance for the rest of the arm so there down to about there then for a simple thing you can simply go up from about somewhere in this range just draw straight up some balls roughly for the knees for the ankles, some simple triangles. Pointing the point the the arrow part, the, the tip, the direction you want the toes to go. But there's a basic figure uh, just for the neck, imagine a line coming up the middle, kind of about right here. And you could just pop your neck right on there. A couple lines for the neck. And 
and there we have a very basic human figure. So the reason I do it this way is the triangle can be turned. So rather than walk, now that I've walked you through it, let me just show you a couple examples of how I actually uh, use this. So overall bodies, and you'll you'll see uh, sometimes people will be like, "Well, draw the spine and then go down this way," and that's essentially what we're doing, but we're doing it through the triangle. So we've got that. I got the ball here. I want my hips pointed this way. So I still know that my lines go about right there. And then I will, whenever I'm tilting the body, draw this as well. Because this middle line kind of helps control the camera angle. What I mean by that is this guy's still kind of largely facing straight forward. But what if I wanted him tilting another way? I can thin the triangle down a little bit so it's not quite so fat. And then I put this line off to the side. again some of these drawing programs were uh, I turned my pen over to use the eraser and some of them just remember the last um, pen that you had selected okay you see now I've got a smaller side over here because I've turned my body all still gonna be roughly the same size but then as well, now we've got this kind of middle line going down here, and this side of our triangle is going to be bigger. We can still cut it in the same places, but now we've got more space off to one side versus the other. Sometimes I like to just kind of almost like making these ever so slightly 3D, just so that they make a little more sense to me, and I know my arm socket's going to go right there, all, or you just stick with the ball, but you move it around. These still kind of come out here, roll off the top of that ball to there, roll off the top of this ball down to here. And I'm not trying to draw any perfect figures at the moment because it's harder for you to replicate. I, my goal is to make it, I'm trying to make art more accessible and so for that we're going to keep it as simple as we can at the moment. We know that we want that roughly at the top. So since this is at an angle, I'm just gonna imagine there's something there. So that would be about, about right there. And then probably something like that. Now that I know the measurement, I can just kind of guess it over here roughly. this one I do always do the closer leg first because the further leg will often get end up partially hiding behind the closer leg triangles point the toes the direction you want them to go <clears throat> too long. Alright, so uh, example of turning it. <clears throat> Let me just sketch out a couple more of these real quick. If you curve the line then you can also curve the edge of the triangle. And that kind of like pushes the body a little bit. I didn't even cut it there. Sorry, sometimes out of habit I do that. I think it's good for you to see that though because 
you can see how quick it is once you get in your mind you can start getting a feel for rolling off that ball and just kind of jotting some things down where you know they need to be It, it's not super complicated because we're not trying to be overly complicated. Uh, I will show you one more tip just because it's been really helpful for me. But I, I want to try to keep this video simple. And then here, what we'll do is ask questions uh, in the comments about where to go from here. Like if you want to know how do I build the figure uh, further in one way or another. Or how do I make this look more feminine or masculine or things like that? Then we can go over uh, some of that stuff in more detail. But it'll also let me kind of gauge what it is people would rather know sooner uh, rather than later. Okay, so for rolling, you we roll off here for the hip. You can actually roll off the other way. And this kind of gives you the bottom of the pectoralis uh, muscles. And so now you've got kind of got an idea of well, my abs go in here, roughly. Um, you can also just draw a gentle curve line here. And now you've connected the top part of your torso to the bottom half. When you've got your ball for the arms, You can roll off of this ball like this. <laughs> Those don't match, but there's your um, kind of the back muscles, the lats, and such. And then you can um, kind of cut this ball in half. And that's going to be where those front muscles kind of connect here. So not, not a perfect drawing, but I just kind of wanted you to see a simple way to draw in some back muscles. And then a lot of it honestly is just building out from here. You can make this figure as bulky as you want. You can make it as thin as you want. But kind of that knowing how to roll into where the rib cage, bottom of the pectoralis is, and then being able how to connect the bottom torso uh, is really helpful and allows you to essentially kind of control all your uh, shapes going forward for your figures. Because like I can even see that this is probably too short where this crotch is, so I can move it down. But yeah, if you get a good grasp of this kind of triangle, ball, um, triangle, ball, triangle, then you'll get a lot of control over the poses. And you, triangles are easier to move in perspective than just like if you're trying to build a figure just like something like that. I find that it's a lot harder to move around in perspective than something like this. Once I have this where I need, I can always convert it into a shape like this one over here. So there's some basic, uh, basic drawing tips uh, on how to draw a simple human form. And sometimes, uh, I will include it uh, another video going from here to AI later you've seen me kind of do some simple like very simple blob type drawings where I essentially just kind of this brush is not big enough I make people almost like just big fat stick figures 
and that does work for the AI art and it requires less technical knowledge which I think is still really good but this here you can drop this down on top of this shape and help refine it figure out exactly where you want this going what you want it doing And then that, then you can fill it in. Like I could finish coloring this in. I've still got the same basic figure, but because I provided the AI with a little more information to work with, I'm gonna get something closer to what it is I actually wanted. So there's my basic, uh, basic human figure drawing uh, guide. Uh, I hope that it benefits you. If you have any questions, please ask them because I would love to figure out how to make this uh, more concise and more clear for more people. Uh, good luck with your drawing.